Hello my friends, Rick Billings. Hey, have you ever wondered what it really takes to build an online business and you know what are some of the tools that you uh, need to do that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna kind of run through a few things that uh, are really kind of important as you get going to build an online business. Okay, so WordPress is probably my favorite website builder, okay? WordPress is a platform that allows you to register a domain name, get hosting at a hosting company, and then install WordPress. WordPress is a free platform, and then you take and you add some you know, themes and plugins and kind of dress it up, and as you see my Rick Billings blog, uh, you know, I've had that blog since 2001, so 16 years now, I've had my rickbillings.com website. And uh, it started out HTML many, many years ago, but then probably 8 or 10 years ago, I transformed it over to WordPress. And as I did with most all of my sites now, um, actually all my sites are in Word, pretty much are in WordPress. I do have some in a uh, different, in ClickFunnels, but most of them are in WordPress. And WordPress you can do just about anything in, uh, on. But the, the ability to take and, and make blog posts and, and put out consistent content is what allows you to uh, have people find you. You write about different things and promote different things that, that maybe have an interest to people. They find you, that's part of attraction marketing, okay? They find you, you're building your own personal brand and uh, they find you online, you know, and that's done in many different ways. But uh, if you optimize an article and uh, Google finds it relevant enough, they can, uh, you know, have you in the first page of Google. I have uh, several blogs on, I've got several blogs and one of, one of the sites I have, I'm ranked on the first page of Google for many terms that we write about. And that's, uh, that becomes very powerful because that becomes organic traffic. It means it's traffic, people have found me without me paying for that traffic, okay? And so, uh, but getting back to a blog, you know, it, uh, the unknown is always, um, you know, scary for some people. It's never been for me. I've been an entrepreneur all my life. I've had to manufacture every paycheck I've ever gotten. So I'm always out there, you know, um, doing something, you know, different, learning something. I've self-taught myself everything online. Okay. You, you know, utilizing resources, don't get me wrong. You need to have resources to learn from, but I've just put them in action. I've taken action to make those things happen. But uh, I challenge you, if you don't have a blog, you know, first of all, register your name. If your name's available, register it. That's so important to have your own personal brand, you know, with your name. So I have rickbillings.com, okay? And uh, register that name. Install your WordPress blog. You say, well, God, I don't know the first thing to do it. I can tell you what, you can go to YouTube and you can type in how to, you know, uh, install a, a WordPress blog. First of all, it's a, it's a pretty simple process when you, when you do it. It's a few clicks on your hosting site and it will install it automatically. It will give you a login. You have a username and login. You log in and then you start adding a theme, which is the way something looks. So think of a theme as a, a suit or a dress, you know, it's putting on a look to the, to the blog, how it's going to look and look, okay? And then you install plugins that do different things the way it acts, okay? And there's, you know, many, many different plugins, you know, and you can actually make a WordPress site do just about anything, okay? You hear a little whistle going off, that's a, uh, we, I monitor people that visit one of my sites and, and do some uh, customer service. So if they have questions, I can, if I'm at my desk, I'll turn it on from time to time and I can answer questions they may have. And so every time it whistles, somebody new is on my blog, okay? There's three of them right there. So uh, I have a blog that gets quite a few visitors every day. And, uh, you know, it's a product-based blog. So anyway, um, getting back to uh, your personal brand. And so you can take and, and uh, you know, get your name, build it. You know, depending if what kind of, uh, what you're going to, how you're going to build online. If you have a business like I'm in the health and wellness industry, I'll write about residual income. I'll write about network marketing, write about many different things that helps people providing value. But the thing that we do that I do is I connect that to my social media platforms. And it's like, um, and it's not hard to do. And you do that through plugins and stuff like that. So when we write a blog, it 
posted on Facebook. It posted on Google Plus. It posts, it, it tweets it out on Twitter. Okay. When I put something on Instagram, it posted on my blog. It posted on Facebook. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a few social media platforms that we've learned and I'm intertwining content on those platforms. Okay, so when I provide value, I'm having them go across many platforms to get more value, okay, to, 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 to appeal to a larger base of people, okay, and as people click on them and they watch your YouTube video that gets posted on Facebook, okay, and they watch these different things, then, you know, if something resonates with somebody, they reach out to me and... And, uh, you know, send me an email, fill out a form on my site, go through a funnel, many different things. You know, there's so many people that, you know, that can't stand their job. They just hate their job. They go to it every day. They hate their career. They just don't get pleasure out of it. So everybody's life goes through a different, you know, time and cycle. And so every once in a while, you know, quite frequently, actually, people reach out and say, you know, hey, tell me about what you're doing. You know, I'd like to know, you know, uh, you know how, the, how that's working, you know, how I can maybe do the same thing, okay? Now, I always tell people that I have a lot of resources I've built within our team, and so I tell people, hey, let's walk before you run. Let's start out with some smaller things first, but if you can justify you know, a small percentage of your time, I tell people never to take a larger percentage of your time and dedicate to build a blog out. It just, it can get overwhelming and consuming, okay? But if you have, um, you know, 20 hours a week to dedicate to online marketing or building your business to say, you know, allocate two or three hours a week of that to build your personal brand. In other words, you don't have to have it done all at one time. It doesn't have to be perfect before you launch it, okay? You know, so take and and build it out and just be patient with it. Okay, be patient. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing consistently over time and cons doing it consistently over time, you will get results. You know, the only people that lose online, the only people that fail in network marketing, the only people that fail is the people that quit. Okay, if you don't quit, if you don't quit, you will succeed eventually. If you stay at it, no matter what level of online marketing, even if you're just doing social media, and we really teach people how to do social media and, and use groups on, on Facebook to build your business, even doing that aspect of it, the only way that you'll lose is if you quit, okay? So it's so important to believe in yourself, believe in a product that you have, you know, Communicate with people, learn how to communicate with people, learn how to talk to people. You know, everybody gets scared to talk to other people. Hey, the answer is always no until you ask somebody, right? So when you're talking to somebody, the answer is no. But it, when you ask them, there's a possibility of a, a certain percentage of people saying, yeah, I, I'm interested, okay? So it's that little person that sits on your shoulder that doubts you all the time. You, know, you you can do anything you want to do in life. You just do it, okay? You stay motivated. Do not listen to all the naysayers. If people tell you you can't do that, just tell them, watch me and forget about them. Why do you care about what they think, okay? Now, it might be a little bit different when it's maybe a, a, a spouse or a partner, but I tell you what, other than that, even relatives, you know, there's so many people that have failed in in uh, direct sales and, and network marketing. And they're, you know, their their family members say you can't do that. Well, I mean, how do they know they're not you, right? But getting back to building a personal brand, that's a powerful thing that stays with you for a long time, and it's amazing, you know, how, how that can build up over time. And if you consistently you know, when I say consistently, you know, I would tell somebody, you know, blog once a week, you know, four times a month just to be consistent versus just doing it four times in a week and then not doing it for many weeks, okay? You can schedule your blog post out with WordPress. 
There are so many things you can do. Now, I don't teach WordPress directly. I teach how to build personal brands, but I don't teach WordPress directly because there's too much information that you can already find on YouTube. There's, there's, there's uh, websites that will teach you WordPress for nothing and how to install it and loading plugins and all the basics of what to do. Now, loading the right type of plugins, the plugins that allow you to, to share across social media platforms, that's a different story, okay? That's done through you know, me endless, endless hours of, of doing this. I mean, I have, you know, you know, I don't like to tell people all the time, but I got, you know, 30, 40 blogs, okay? And some are sales pages, some are sales sites, some are funnels. They're not all blogs. I don't blog on all those sites, okay? But we blog on several because it the content appeals to different people, okay? And no, you don't have to do that starting out. Or, you know, there are people, and, and also, if I probably had to do it all over again, you know, for what I know now, I would probably stick to one or two blogs, period. One blog, and I would just make it massive, okay? Because Google likes larger sites. They like sites that, that are, are authoritative, that, that, that are relevant to what people are searching, right? So Google's all about relevancy, and if somebody types something in the Google thing, they want to show relevant content coming up, okay? And the other thing to do is don't think that you have to reinvent the wheel. There's so many people that have successful sites out there that look nice. Just try to, don't copy them, but you can, you can use them as a guideline to go by, to get ideas from and see what they're doing and stuff like that. And um, so anyway, I just wanted to make this video and kind of help you learn that if you don't have a WordPress blog and you're wanting to build an online business and go in for the long term with it, you know, having a personal blog, you know, with your name, you know, like I have rickbillings.com, okay, is a powerful thing. And you can use, utilize it to do so many different things, okay? And uh, so anyway, I hope this helps. If it does, please like my channel on YouTube and uh, share this content with others. I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. And we'll talk to you on another video. Thanks a lot.